Welcome to our Red Sketch Jam the show that will let you know all the fun, exciting, inspiring, and interesting events that are coming up in the arts and culture life of London and in the Middle East. First up, let's take a look at what's on in London. Does the Arabic script of calligraphy awe you and look incredibly complicated? Now is your chance to learn exactly how to do it. Jumana Medley learned to work with Kufi, the first ever script to be made beautiful through years of apprenticeship with renowned Lebanese calligrapher Samir Sa'i and has put together an original course to transmit this material. The aim of the course in returning to Kufi is to guide students towards finding their own approach to the art of Arabic calligraphy. The course will take place once a week on Wednesdays and will start on Wednesday the 8th of October, concluding in a final project in the end. For more information, click on to arabbritishcenter.co.uk. Algerian-born rising music star Rida Taliani will be coming to London for a one-night-only live performance, promoting his new album and singing his best hits. Rida Taliani, who got his nickname from dressing in Italian style, has released three albums to critical acclaim, earning him big success predominantly in Algeria. He fuses Algerian rhyme music with influences of reggae, Spanish gypsy music and even rap. He will be playing the Forum in the affluent area of Highgate on Sunday 9th of November. And for tickets and information, please visit ticketmaster.co.uk. together scholars from the East and the West, the Ginkgo Conference will take place for the first time ever. It's the start of the Ginkgo Library, a project to publish 100 books over the next 10 years, presenting the latest work in both Arabic and English across the full range of humanities, social science and sciences relating to the Mino regions. Looking at the immediate aftermath of the First World War, the Ginkgo Conference will start its bold project posing challenging questions about the place of the Middle East and West in relations to the war and the following years after. The Ginkgo Conference will be held on Saturday the 6th and Sunday the 7th of December. And for more information and tickets you can go on to theginkolibrary.com. Now let's go and take a look at what's up in the Middle East. Golf Photo Plus in Dubai are presenting a group exhibition of photographs by six immensely talented individuals. Highlighting the inspiring work by photographers from all the different continents, they focus and encourage stories to be told by photographers in their own context, sharing unique insight into local cultures, environments and development issues. The exhibition is on until Thursday the 16th of October and you can get more information at golfphotoplus.com. The Arab and Balkan Gypsy Fusion musician Bilal will be performing in Beirut Music Hall. Born to a gypsy clan, he worked as a shoeshine boy when he was discovered at the age of 14 by a nearby music management. The agent, Elifa Tirades, immediately adopted him, mentored his artistic talent and helped him develop his music skills. As of 2002, Bilal started performing concerts on TV and in festivals to wide critical acclaim with his unique mixed style of Arabic and Balkan Gypsy music. Bilal and the Yugoslavian Gypsy Brass Band will be live at the Music Hall on Beirut on Monday 20th of October. And to get your tickets and more information, go to ticketingboxoffice.com. Now, let's take a look at the Arabesque episode of the week. From a group of individuals from all parts of the world comes the exclusive Kensington Palace concert, Arabian Interlude. Organized by the Peace and Prosperity Trust, these young and talented musicians show us just how music transcends cultural differences. Tune in to watch them rehearse for their royal performance, Arabian Interlude at levant.tv slash arabesque. Thank you for joining us. We do hope you'll have a chance to get out and see one of these fun events. See you next week for more tips on where to see the best events from the Middle East and North African communities in the UK and the Middle East. Till then, take good care.